Nike Vlog Nike Vlog number 12 um, Okay um, Yeah, so a bunch of other guys uh, said that they were supposed to come here None of them showed up Not a single one of them showed up um, That's another thing I want you guys to know about uh, You know, when you want to go for something in life It's always something that you want to do and you want in life And you gotta go for it by yourself you cannot be dependent on anyone, including your own coach or something. You cannot be dependent on anyone. If you want something, you have to go out and get it done. You have to go out and get it made. Anyways, yeah, so a bunch of guys said that they were going to come to this place. Nobody did. I ended up finding, I ended up meeting uh, a bunch of other guys through another guy who knows me through another, through the WhatsApp group. He's really funny. Uh, this guy did game at one point. He, you know, does a little bit, tiny bit, but he's like in a relationship, so he doesn't do it as much. Um, and he um, he recognized my picture from this other guy that I was gaming with like a little while ago, because that guy sent him my picture saying like, "Yo, this guy does game really, really well." Me. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this guy recognized me at this place and just uh, uh, he just like came up to me and they're like, "Hey, man, are you that guy?" I'm like, "Yes, I am, actually." Yeah. So anyways, we, we started shooting the shit and we chatted and I, and I got to know like a couple of other guys. Uh, by the end of the night, I actually exchanged numbers. I mean, I got this guy's contact and stuff. He seems like a pretty chill guy because we actually had like a bunch of fun conversations and stuff. Okay, there weren't that many people. It was Thursday night, but there weren't that many people out or something. A decent number, but not too many. I don't approach girls that aren't at least eight anymore. Like, I mean, I try my best not to. Like, I try my best. I mean, if I, I came all the way out here, like, it drove like 45 minutes. So I wanted to at least practice a couple of reps and get get them in. There, I honest to God, there wasn't a single girl above an eight today. There was like one. Oh, oh, oh! oh. There was one black girl. I'll get to her at the end. Uh, I, as soon as I came in, I approached another girl. This is kind of funny, actually. This is kind of interesting. As soon as I came in and I looked around, I couldn't find anyone. Then I walked a little bit further and I saw this girl walking around. So she was walking alone from the restroom. And then walking through the, like a little aisle or something and coming and then going to the other side. I waited for like a second because I was like, let me look around. But but I could have approached her right there and she was all alone solo. Why is this important? I, honestly, there's not a lesson there or maybe there is, I don't know. Uh, when she walked around the other side, she, she was like two feet from her friends. So I walked up to her, I'm like, hey girl, uh, you look sexy. Um, and she's like, oh, okay, thank you. And I was like, what's your name? And I shook her hand and she wanted to talk to me and she was like into me. But because she was two feet from her friends, midget little fucking midget friends, like fucking uh, Filipino chicks, or I don't know who the fuck they were. But yeah, little midget friends or something. These girls literally pushed me, like actually physically like assaulted me, pushed me away uh, and trying to drag her. Now that's something that you should know in game is always gonna happen. Uh, girl, uh, everyone's always gonna be jealous, and in, uh, everyone's always gonna be jealous. If you give this girl attention, that girl's gonna be mad. Uh, if you give this girl attention, her guy friend is gonna try and uh, come in and break it up. Um, if you give this girl attention, random white night simps and strangers will come and try and break it up. That'll always happen, right? So always remember that thing. Uh, but obviously, I wasn't taking no for an answer. I didn't touch them. I didn't do anything. I literally just walked around these fucking midgets and walked to the girl again. They tried to push me again. I walked around and pushed her and went over to her again. She was definitely into me. She definitely wanted to talk to me, but her midget friends were being fucking weird. So it's like, are you cool? Are you vibing? Are you, do you want to talk? Uh, and they, she was like, you know, my friends are being difficult. I was like, uh, do, you want, do you want us to exchange numbers so that I can text you after when your annoying friends aren't here? Uh, and she was like, you know what? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm like, I'm, okay, that's it. I left. You know, like if the girl isn't interested, walk away my eyes there's like a trillion fucking other girls i don't want to talk to her but yeah so that was an interesting thing that happened right off the bat then i'm walking around a little bit more uh, and i met the uh met this guy who basically recognized me started shooting shit with them just had fun just i just chilled out and just had fun chatting with like some new people i didn't know anybody here so that was good um then i walked around a little bit more to try and find some uh other girls uh Legit couldn't find anyone as far as I can tell. Could not, legitimately could not find anyone attractive or nothing. Um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So I was just shooting the shit with these guys. There was no girl, there were no girl. I mean, there were girls there. Nobody that was attractive. I was trying to get in some practice reps. And even that, I was like, I was not feeling it. So, um, anyways, yeah, so we were leaving. Uh, when we were finally leaving, uh, me and this guy left uh, together. Uh, when we were finally leaving, I finally saw a, an actual attractive black girl walk out. Like, she, she looked pretty hot. She looked cute, actually. I'm, I'm gonna say she looked hot. She was a cute girl that was trying to look hot. 
So she looked really good. Um, and I was like, yo, I, and she came out with another black guy. Now this is something, uh, this is an approach about, like if you want to approach uh, like a couple or something, um, for the girl, obviously. So the way that I do it is uh, I just go and ask them, hey, are you guys together? Uh, or, oh, sorry, hey, uh, I just go up and ask them, hey, uh, how do you guys know each other? They generally say, you know, we're friends or uh, whatever, or, you know, dating, or married, she's my wife, whatever the fuck, you know. Um, if that happens, if they're together, you know, not friends, sorry, if they're, you know, like husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, some shit like that, if they're together, I just go like, bro, your girl's fire, man. I just need her to say your girl's fire. And, you know, I just give her a compliment or something, and then I leave. Just gentlemen, like, I fucking leave. And if they're not together, then I'm like, okay, girl, uh, you're so fucking gorgeous. I had to come over and talk to you. Or I had to come over and hit on you. Something like that. So this girl, so this, so he said, so these guys said we don't know each other. Or he said that we just met. So that wasn't like a, so to me, that was like, that's not a, you know, you guys aren't together or something. So I was like, so then I think he asked me because the girl, so here's the thing. The girl looked at me and she was smiling and she was like, you know, she was smiling and she was attracted for sure. So the guy asked me, do you want to hit on her? I'm like, yeah, I, I do. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, at this point, I have zero approach anxiety. And I, I, at this point, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm learning to just go for what I want. and not even like thinking, hesitating, nothing. Um, and I've heard this from, you know, this other guy, this other guy that I was with yesterday. And like, they, these guys are all like, bro, you have no approach anxiety. You have no this thing. You're just like, you just, you just go in, man. You don't even care. That's fucking insane. So, yeah, so I was like, yeah, I do actually, yeah. So I walked up to her and I, you know, shook her hand. I was like, what's your name or something? Um, and then I couldn't understand what was happening. They were together, but they weren't together. I couldn't understand what was happening. So, uh, so um, then eventually I was like, uh, she seems like a weird rock. Or it's like, okay, if you're, if you, uh, if you're busy or you're leaving or something, do you, do you want to grab a, uh, do, uh, do you want to exchange numbers? So I'll text you after. And she was, she was looking at me and then she was looking at the other guy and she was like, you know what? No. So I, I kind of realized, and the other guy told me alongside of me that I was like, maybe they met today or something. She didn't want to look like weird. She was definitely into you, but she didn't want to look weird because she was leaving with that guy. because so, that would have looked a little bit weird, obviously. Right. I can't change the camera angle guys. My thing is weird right now. So, um, yeah, that was that. So I think she was into me, but I couldn't find her in the, in the club thing the entire night or something. Whatever, it is what it is. Uh, what's next? What is next? Um, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. So, uh, the other thing I was thinking was, maybe these guys met together and he, you know, talked to her and, like, you know, they hit it off or something. And then they left together. So, basically, it was also possible that there was this girl that was actually looking for company or something. And, you know, there's a guy out there that's actually getting laid. So that's something that I read on the GLL blogs or something. You know, always there's always a guy out there that's getting there. There's always a girl that wants to get fucked. There's always a guy, you know, there's always a guy that's looking for a girl, looking for a guy. You know, some shit like that. So always think that there's always a thing going on. There's an opportunity or something going on. So that could have been a thing as well. Oops, sorry about that. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the entire day. There's nothing else that I have to say there. It was kind of disappointing in terms of like nothing to talk about or no girls to talk about or nothing. But um, I did end up. Uh, chatting a bunch of people up I kept my streak up and I kept on coming out and uh, hopefully I made a friend you know we'll figure out how that happens because uh, we definitely did enjoy shooting the shit together so we'll see how that goes but that's pretty much it so I just want to give you like a game vlog number 12 night game vlog number 12 maybe um, uh, I'm going to try some new shit I am trying some new shit in fact I tried it today it's called oh yeah I did approach one other girl as well directly as well and she immediately told me that she had a boyfriend she had a boyfriend so literally the girl that's sitting on in front of her opposite her I uh, asked her she had a boyfriend as well and they weren't interested at all so I just like walked away because that's that's the part of screening if they're not interested just walk the fuck away if she's interested she gives you a good signal then she's in if she's not don't try and sit there and talk to her and like try and win her over or something just walk away that was the one other approach that I had that night that was it um yeah that's it I'm learning some new shit I'll uh, keep updating here about how shit uh, goes and that's pretty much it I'm out peace